All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're up in the northern headquarters in Pennsylvania. I'm absolutely ecstatic because later on today, I'm actually going to take the three-gun rifle out and get it finalized and tested with some ammo. And then secondly, we're going to take the uh, Benelli M2 three-gun edition that I put the uh, primary arms red dot on top of. And we're going to go ahead and get it zeroed at 100 yards for slug shots, one ounce slugs at 1,150 feet per second. We are going to chrono those things because it's interesting to see what they'll do out of a 24-inch barrel, as well as we're going to test out the Legion X5 to make sure it runs with 147 grain and a couple other things. But anyway, those are that's some stuff that I'm really excited about as well. We're going to Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. Yes, sir. We're going to be shooting out the distance. All right, so what do we got today? Uh, this is an article. This was in, what is the name of this rag? The Independent News. Okay, so this is a, a story by Jasmine, Jasmine Cower. Yesterday at 4 p.m., and it's titled, America's Gun Laws Seem to Be Making People Dangerously Trigger Happy of Late. Now, so this is a crock of, sh you know what, uh, just right off the bat. You could tell by the title, but it just, it rung in me. I said, what I do is I try to screen everything for some really cool news and see what's going on. First of all, all right, so here we go. Um, it starts off by this, no one would expect that a mistake like ringing the wrong doorbell or pulling into the wrong driveway would result in getting shot and people are blaming the gun laws if it happens. So it, myself, I, before I read the title, I just saw that part. I'm like, mm, maybe this is a pro-gun person who's trying to figure out what's going on here. No, not at all. So let's continue. But a black teen and a young woman who were recently gunned down for these very small mistakes and so was a cheerleader who got into the wrong car in the United States. Okay, so we're moving on. On April 13th, an elderly man shot Ralph Yarl, a black teenager, in the head after Yarl rang his doorbell in Kansas City, Missouri. I think we could all agree. Uh, this is not something we want, and uh, the elderly man should probably not have shot this guy. Uh, this is not like a stand your ground thing. That's the first thing in my mind. Uh, guy wasn't trying to jump in the house, wasn't trying to get in. Uh, he was not in the house and there was no one threatening this old guy's life, which is going to come into play later on in this video. Cheerleader shot. Okay. More recently, Kaylin Gillis, 20, was shot after she pulled into the wrong driveway in a rural New York. And just a few days ago, two cheerleaders were shot after they mistakenly got into the wrong car in a Texas car park. Yeah, I'm going to jump on the side of don't shoot people unless you're being threatened. And, you know, basically, uh, your stand your ground laws look, work pretty good if you're being threatened uh, by death or, you know, if you feel like your life is in danger, but you just can't go ahead and shoot. And that's where the mistake this writer makes in this thing. An interview with insider Christian Hine, Heen, you know who the Hine, and the vice president of policy and programs at, you guessed it, the Brady campaign, a gun control advocacy, not advocacy nonprofit said, if gun owners are being told repeatedly by the gun industry that the reason why they need their firearm is to be ready to shoot at any given moment, then it's that mentality that they have in having a firearm. Do you guys feel like that? I don't. Uh, I carry a firearm for protection for my family. I don't go out there looking to shoot. And I know the majority of the people, I say 99.99% of the people who, like myself, who are going out there who have a firearm feel the same way. This is kind of a sick mindset that these individuals have is that, like I've always said it, if you own a firearm, you're a potential murderer. If you own a firearm, you are a potential mass murderer. You're a criminal. You're a potential criminal. And this is the way it works. All right, let's keep moving on. The other expert, other experts say it is also the culture of an individualistic thinking that has influenced the sale of guns. The end. All right, here we go. The individualism allows the marketing, and the marketing promotes the individualism. Huh? But that's some deep stuff. And it, the fear accelerates the buying of weapons. And as more people buy weapons, other people feel they need weapons, said Gary Slutkin, an epidemiologist who studies violence as a contagion and founded the Cure Violence Global. Okay, so I can tell you how do you cure probably 99% of the murders in this world. Go after the gangbangers. Go after people who are shooting other people. That's going to clear up a lot of this. And then after that happens, well, you're not going to have any reason to come after my guns because, hey, you know what? I obeyed a law, right? Obeyed a law. I hate that. We have to obey things. It's just being right, acting right. Gun laws. All right, here we go. The country stand your ground laws. Okay, this is where the BS really starts. 
operates in 30 states and is based on the principle that a person has the right to use deadly force to defend themselves against a threat, says New York Times. Okay, so what type of threat? Uh, is this just a threat of somebody you feel threatened by that they're walking down the street? No, this person has to cause you to feel that your life or your family's life or somebody else's life is in potential danger. Your life, the potential of death. Okay, they don't understand this. Certainly, we're seeing a horrifying trend in, with how certain states are describing and discussing self-defense. This is where I'm getting at. What is terrifying is the fact that now we have corrupted and upended the idea of self-defense in certain states with these shoot-first laws. This is not a shoot-first law, guys. Uh, Stand your ground law is meaning you don't have to run. Okay, I would suggest just eliminate the whole court system deal and you losing your house and everything else because this jackass's family is going to have a lawyer. They're going to come after you. Do what you can, evidently, to make sure that you are using it as a last result. But this is disgusting that they're talking about shoot first laws where now people are emboldened and empowered to shoot first and ask questions later. Okay, so gosh, this is the way I look at it. If a guy's pointing a gun at me, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to shoot the shit out of him. Okay, while it is still uncertain that what defense the people who shot Gillis, Jarls, and the cheerleaders will take, it is definitely time to reexamine the laws around self-defense and the gun culture in general. Okay, at this point, I pretty much realize what the, the side of the desk this person sits on. And here's the thing. Uh, stand your ground laws or castle doctrine, right? Depending on what your state is, uh, you know, guys, mention it down below. Uh, I know you have a duty to retreat in some states, which to me, if somebody walks in my house, I am not cowering in the corner. They are in my property. And if they're uninvited, well, they're there for a reason, folks. So with that being said, there's I don't think that we have a shoot-first attitude in this country. Uh, Re-examine the laws around what self-defense and the gun culture in general? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> the Second Amendment. Anyway, uh, with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, shall not comply, right? Uh, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I'm going to mount some videos here in the next couple of days showing you guys the outcome. Uh, we've got a bunch of different brands of ammo that I'm going to be testing. Uh, the idea, though, is that whatever you zero with, that's the, the ammo that you need to be using in your competition, especially on the long shots. So with that, I am out of here in the infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout. Boom. Oh, yeah.